वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वाई पैरामीटर्स एंड जेड पैरामीटर्स सो लेट अस सी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी वी आर हैविंग वन रजिस्टिव नेटवर्क एंड फॉर दिस टू पोर्ट रजिस्टिव नेटवर्क वी नीड टू फाइंड वाई एंड जेड पैरामीटर्स सो First of all, we need to see whether given network is simple T or pi network or not. So here, see this is not simple T network, but if you observe this network, then in that, see this is forming delta, and if you convert this delta into star, then we can have simple T network, right? And there is one more possibility that, see this is simple T which you can see over here, and if you convert this T into delta then here you will be having delta like this and we can have pi network right so out of that you can choose any one option to have calculation of simply y and z parameters so what i'll be doing is i'll be considering this delta right and for this delta let us convert that into star so see first of all let me show you how connection is there so here there is one resistor here there is one more resistor and here there is one resistor that is how star is there inside of this delta right let us say this is r1 let us say this is r2 and let us say this is r3 now first i'll explain you how to convert this star network from this delta network with the values of r1 r2 and r3 so what is r1 so r1 you see that is multiplication of this two resistor right divided by addition of 3 so multiplication of this two that is 10 into 5 so that is 50 divided by addition of 3 so that is 10 plus 20 plus 5 35 what is r2 so r2 that is multiplication of this two resistor so that is 20 into 5 so that is 100 divided by addition of all three so 20 plus 10 plus 5 so that is 35 and what is r3 so r3 that is this which is multiplication of this two resistor so 20 into 10 divided by addition of all three so 200 divided by 35 that is r3 now let us calculate this values in calci so 50 by 35 that is 1.428 i can say 1.43 so 100 by 35 is 2.85 and 200 by 35 is 5.71 so that is how we have the values now what i'll do is i'll redraw this network in terms of this star network so see this is r3 which is connected over here and it is 5.71 see this is r2 which is connected over here so that is 2.85 ohm and see this is r1 which is connected over here that is 1.43 and that is in series with 40 so i need to write 1 1.43 plus 40 so that will be 41.43 ohm so now we have this simple star connection or you can say this is simple t connection right so for this simple network all we can do is we can consider here you see i1 and i2 that is coming so obviously with this branch current will be i1 plus i2 right now what we will do is we will simply apply kvl in this loop and kvl in this loop right so let us apply kvl in loop 1 so if you apply kvl in loop 1 we have this one voltage source that is happening from minus to plus so i should be writing plus v1 that is equals to i1 into 5.71 plus through this wing you see in this loop current is i1 plus i2 
एंड रेजिस्टेंस इज 41.43 लेट अस सिंपलीफाई दिस सो v1 इज इक्वल्स टू इन टर्म्स ऑफ i1 5.71 प्लस 41.43 सो दैट इज 4 एंड देन 7 प्लस 4 11 सो 1 एंड 1 विल गेट कैरी फॉरवर्डेड सो 6 प्लस 41 सो दैट विल बी 47 i1 प्लस i2 इनटू 41.43 सो दिस इज माय स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी कैन कंपेयर इट विद z पैरामीटर इक्वेशन राइट बट बिफोर दैट लेट अस सॉल्व इक्वेशन 2 आल्सो सो लेट अस अप्लाई kvl इन लूप 2 सो यू सी दिस v2 दैट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस लूप फ्रॉम माइनस 2 प्लस सो आई नीड टू राइट प्लस v2 that is equals to through this resistor current is I2 so 2.85 into I2 plus in this loop through this resistor 41.43 into I1 plus I2 right and now I'll make it in terms of simplified version so through I1 value is 41.43 right and now through i2 2.85 plus 41.43 so 5 plus 3 8 then 8 plus 4 12 so 2 and 1 is getting carry forwarded so 42 plus 2 so that is 44 i2 right so that is how second equation is there now simply we can compare that with standard equation of z parameter so standard equation is v1 is equals to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and second equation is v2 is equals to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 now based on this two equation we can have z matrix so what is z matrix z matrix is z11 z12 z21 z22 now in this z11 is 47.14 z12 is 41.43 z21 is 41.43 and z22 is 44.28 so this is our z matrix right now if you see question so in question we need to find y parameters also right so as if you want to find y parameters then i have already explained in conversion of z parameter to y parameter y parameter will be inverse of z matrix right now how to find inverse of z matrix so that is adjoint of z matrix divided by magnitude of z matrix right for two port network we need to do that as per adjoint of z matrix divided by magnitude of z matrix is z inverse right now how to find adjoint so see we need to exchange these two element with each other so 44.28 that will come here and this 47.14 that should be written over here and we need to multiply minus 1 with these two elements so minus 41.43 minus 41.43 that is how we need to find adjoint right now magnitude of this that is 47.14 into 44.28 minus 41.43 into 41.43 let me calculate that first so that is 370.91 now let us find each of this y parameter elements by dividing each of this element with 370.91 so these are y parameters i hope you have understood this still if you have any confusion just place that in comment box. I will be definitely try to help you out for safe. Thank you so much for watching this video.